Hey fam, Chi Chi here, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be talking about two juggernauts within the fragrance community, and that is the Baccarat Duo. I've spent a little time with them now that I have both of them in my collection, and I have some thoughts that I do wanna share with you, whether or not you need both of them, you only can do one of them, you don't need none of them, are they even worth it? So if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish, but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead and subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So these are highly talked about fragrances within the fragrance community. And it's almost like everybody's collection has either one or both of these. And I just wanna, you know, give my little two cents on it now because a lot of the videos are a little bit dated and I wanted something a little bit newer, you know? Some some new, new fresh perspective. Now, I already did a video on these fragrances and a lot of the uh, MFK lineup, so my feelings have not changed on that, but I do have some updates. So, both of these bottles are 70 mLs or 2.4 fluid ounces. Now, the OG Baccarat Rouge is gonna run you $325. And then the Extrait is going to run you a whopping $435. Now, if y'all know me, I don't be buying fragrances <laughs> full price like that. So, if you wanna know how I get a discount on this, Go check out my video when I pick these up. I tell you all the details. People are still saving money, still commenting on that video. If you have been watching YouTube and you've seen videos about people buying it directly from the MFK website, that don't work no more. They got hit to our game, girl. So I found a workaround so we could still enjoy you know, some savings, but go ahead and check that video out. I break it all down for you guys. <laughs> Let's talk about Baccarat Rouge 540, the original. So this one, <sighs> she's a ghoster, okay? She, she's here, she present, and then she leaves, and then she comes back, and then she leaves again, and then she's back again. This one does the biggest disappearing act I have ever seen with a fragrance, but I still love it. It smells like the most delicately spun sugar of cotton candy, but not your, you know, state fair kind of cotton candy. No, this is the ones that go on like really, really fabulous drinks at like Michelin star restaurants cotton candy like they're really like just putting the strings on there and that's what this smells like it is a really really nice scent with that being said for 325 <laughs> is it like wowing enough to keep on buying depends on you but i do like having this in my collection because and I, I know I'm gonna get crucified for this, but I use this to layer with other fragrances. Yes, I said it. Anytime I want a sweetness to a fragrance, this is what I top it off with or put a nice little base under it because I know she's gonna just peek in every now and again and say, girl, you gut? I. I'm gonna go back doing my thing. That's what she does, at least on my skin. So when I just need a little bit of sweetness, but I don't want something like sickening sweet, this is what I reach for. And it just, it goes with everything when it's mixed. So I really like just trying out different combinations and throwing this on and seeing what happens. And Literally like 95% of the things that I mix with this, it just works. I do feel like it adds longevity to some fragrances that might not wear as long because she does the disappearing act. So I, I, I can get through a long day with wearing this and then pairing it even better, even better. So, <laughs> 
even though I don't wear this alone a lot of the time, I still love it in my collection because it's just one of those layering fragrances that just works really well. And I know I'm gonna get so much shit in the comments section. Like, girl, you look, yes, I layer it, okay? Okay, moving on. <laughs> now, when I want to smell like Baccarat, I go for the extreme. Now, when I first tested MFK, I smelled this one first, not knowing that there was an extreme. And I fell in love. And then when I read my bottle, I was like, oh, this is the extreme. This one, I fell in love with. Now, this has a note of bitter almond that, oh, chow, so good. It's so freaking good. It's, oh my God, this actually smells like money. And I kind of did a, a Outcast thing. Remember when Outcast had the double album, Speaker Box, Love Below? This is Speaker Box, and this is Love Below. I fucked up, and I listened to Love Below first. <laughs> this one had all the hits, <laughs> okay? People, this one's still cool. Speaker Box is a very great album, but the Love Below, that's the, that's the hitter, okay? This is my Love Below. This is the one I can put on, I can feel. I'm just feeling things expensive. I feel like a bad B. I just feel like I got my ish together when I wear Baccarat. Now, the problem with Baccarat, and it's not even a problem with Baccarat, it's a problem with us, fragrance community. A lot of people like to bash it, it's like, oh, everybody's wearing Baccarat. Everyone's wearing Baccarat. No, they're not. You have to really take into account who are you actually interacting with. Nine times out of 10, they're not wearing Baccarat unless you run in those types of circles where bitches is just luxuriating, okay? And they just got it like that. But realistically, I'm not gonna run into anybody wearing Baccarat unless I'm going to Short Hills Mall or Garden State Plaza or possibly somewhere in the city. That's the only time I may run into somebody who either recognizes it or is wearing it. That's it. But if I'm just going to the shop, right? Nobody's like, oh my God, is that Baccarat? No, no one's doing that. So I feel as though Baccarat definitely gets a bad rap because everyone's saying that everyone is wearing it when in all actuality, no, they're not. <laughs> No, they're not. Getting back to Miss X Straight, she has way longer lasting power on my body than the original, absolutely. And she never does a disappearing act. And that's why I really prefer the X Straight because when I put on the perfume, I want to smell it until you're gone, okay? Once you're gone, I don't care. But you just can't be popping in and out of my life. This one, she is reliable, dependable. She's always there when I need her, looking for her. And then if you are putting this on your clothing, <sighs> laundry day, <laughs> laundry day is just so good because you will be questioning yourself. You take out that shirt that you wore a few days ago and be like, you know what? <clears throat> Let me just, air this out real quick and give it another go because the fragrance, it just, it just get up in the, the fabrics and it does not let up. I love Baccarat's lasting power. And the same goes for the OG. She definitely lasts on <sighs> clothing as well. But when I truly want to smell the perfume, yeah, X Straight is the way to go. Are they worth the money? Yes, because no matter which one you choose, they're gonna last. Whether it's on your clothing or on your skin, they definitely have lasting power. If something's worth something, I can't tell you that, okay? I can only tell you my experience. 
but I personally do feel like they are worth it. Now, if you can only pick one to have in your collection, I'm going to say X straight because it just, for me, performs the best. And I know I'm going to smell like Baccarat and I don't have to like douse my entire body and then, you know, two hours later, wonder where the smell is. I, I ain't gotta do all that. She's, she's gonna show up, show out. So if I have to pick, definitely the X straight. If you're just using it as a layering <laughs> fragrance, absolutely the original. That's where you wanna go. Do you need both? If I had to redo it again, I think I would have just gotten the extreme. But I was testing to make sure, you know, <laughs> the website that I was using, you know, was legit and I can, you know, do what I need to do. The extreme just suits all of my needs. Like I want to smell like Baccarat. I want it to last. I want it to do what it needs to do. I want other people to smell me. So I feel like I get all of that with the X straight. Now I know there have been people who say that the OG lasts longer than the X straight. That's their experience. I'm just telling you mine. They do two different things within my collection. So I, would I add both back in? I think I would. Honestly, I think I would because I like the little sweetness that this this brings to some of my fragrances. But when I want to smell like Baccarat, I'm just gonna, you know, put this on. You know, I don't reach for it quite often because I still want it to remain special. So granted, I'm not doing anything really special like occasion wise, but I don't know. Like when I'm, I know I wanna go to a nice dinner. Okay, I'm gonna throw this on. You know, I when I went to my girl's trip in um, North Carolina, I wore this and I smelled fantastic. And my friend was just like, damn girl, like you smell good as hell. I'm like, thank you. Compliment getter, they both, get compliments and that's a selling point okay it makes you feel good okay so overall i do like them both i do imagine both still being in my collection once i finish the bottles i yeah i would repurchase both of them and i feel like everyone should have at least one baccarat in their collection because it's just that good don't listen to everybody saying oh everybody has baccarat don't don't listen to them don't listen to them i feel like the people who say in that don't have it so <laughs> so don't listen to them do your own thing check out some of my other videos and i'll catch you in the next one bye guys